Like, look at this shit. Look how big this is. This is insanity, by the way. <laughs> what? <laughs> look at that. I don't even where the fuck do I begin? The initial world timeline. Gant never quits the BBC. This is already not the timeline. Okay. Melene never sees potential in any tube. Trash taste is never conceived. Gant and Sydney live happily in the UK. Connor and Joey die suddenly. Cause unknown. Fucking hell. Should I be, should I be fucking, should I be worried? Bro. <laughs> Commotion various connection lands Gant a job at CERN. <laughs> okay. He felt emptiness in his life. He couldn't explain. Reference in the meme. Great. Gant has talked about things he regretted in his 20s related to his original life path. So obviously in the original timeline, he didn't take the big fulfilling risk to leave the BBC. To fill the emptiness and correct the mistake of pursuing the life of mediocrity. With the BBC, he used his engineering background to build a time machine and go back in time and leave the BBC. Professor Gant Menetabo, PhD. <laughs> Becomes the head director of DNL Mail Project. CERN develops a time machine capable of sending radio waves to the past. Okay, this is Steins Gate. All right. Uh, <laughs> sent to a random truck drive. Oh my God. It's going to be a fucking isekai, isn't it? During the first trial, Professor Manitoba felt a strong urge to redo his life. Knowing the risk involved, Gant sends the second email regardless. <laughs> One that can have major repercussions in the space-time continuum. JCM is born. Who the fuck is JCM? And then Steve Handjobs. Okay, so then Gant passes sometime 2060. All right. Joseph Connor Man Manitabo. What? what? Why? Okay, okay. So that's one timeline. So I guess let's follow the first timeline that starts in 2030, which is this purple arrow. In a completely random world line, Gant gets, his gets hit by a truck. Gant's afterlife arc. What? Oh my God. Okay, hold on. This is too... Okay, let's, let's not go to this one. This one's really confusing. <laughs> Trash taste world timeline. Sydney couldn't convince his Gant to quit the BBC. All right. Melene sees potential in Annie Tube. All right, so this is the current timeline. Eight Gant email reaches Studio Wit. Trash Taste Episode 1. Sydney convinces Aki that she should always hide under the bed during an earthquake. All right. Everyone survives Fukushima earthquake. Okay. Our slash Trash Taste memes about Connor and Joey dying. Gant and Sydney wedding. The future is uncertain. Trash Taste ending. Okay, so this is the timeline we're on now, I guess. Okay, so I guess the dark timeline is where shit kicks off. Gant receives phone message. It's BBC. So this is from the previous Gant on the BBC timeline, where the second male reaches Gant. Quits the BBC. Maylene sees potential in any tube. Project Melody finds Hime Hajime. Trash is episode one. Hime starts VTubing in the hopes of meeting her grandfather. Only her fellow genmates know the, her true origin. Connor and Joey died in the Fukushima earthquake. Second annual Trash Taste Award who precedes Gant begins to produce entire episode by himself. Didus and Emily <laughs> recruited to replace the boys. Gant suffers from severe emotional damage, rejecting the change. I wish Gant would just let it go. When geeks... <laughs> said trash taste must go on and recruited emily and didus to take the boys place gone just kept saying what are you doing Connor and Joey are still sitting there while talking to himself and laughing alone. Okay, so Gant goes like crazy. Gant never moves on. One last charity stream is hosted by Chris. Finally becomes a member, even just for a little while. Hi guys, welcome to Trash Taste. I'm here with the boys. Gone, you have to let it go. It's been three years since the earthquake. It's okay, it wasn't your fault, but you need to move on. Trash Taste 252. <laughs> they are gone again. Are you an official Trash Taste member? Yes. What did it cost? Everything. Okay. Gant then returns to the UK. Gant stumbles upon blah, blah, blah. The strange man advises him to visit the clock tower in Westminster. <laughs> if you want to save Joey and Connor and everyone else, you must complete your mission. All right. <laughs> Being the MC that he is, Gant, Gant learns that he is descendant of a lineage. Okay. The lineage of Tackle Titan bearing a powerful string <laughs> magic crest, having the potential to harness true magic. The only thing preventing him <laughs> it's his stubbornness, a byproduct of trauma and depression. <laughs> he will keep moving forward until his friends are brought back. Garn has mastered the process of attaining true magic. Only a catalyst is needed to reach the root of the world. Convergence point two, first DNA mail is sent. Okay, so the sent mail is sent now and it fucks the timeline up. All right. Following the events occurred in the metaphysical realm, the root of all worlds, events, and phenomenon existing whether whenever, everywhere, and nowhere else simultaneously. The first DNA mail is sent, breaching the fabric of space-time enough of a window and for Supreme Sorcerer Gant to perform second plus third magic. What is second plus third magic? I guess this is this is like trying to understand 1% of fate law. Gant enters the root of Ak Akasha. Is this fate? Is this fucking fate? Dark Gant creating the dark timeline so he can be released from eternal imprisonment. Dark Gant uses D4C. <laughs> Why is JoJo in this? This is some mad fucking fan fiction. Gant battle royale. But then it goes to Dr. Ligma jumps into battle. What's Ligma? Ligma balls. 
Dr. Ligma stops Killer Chris. Who is Killer Chris? A casualty conductor unravels the mind of Chris Broad, creating an alter ego named Killer Chris. The true crime documentaries be like, he was Mr. Affable <laughs> until he wasn't. So Dr. Ligma doesn't stop Killer Chris. That's terrifying. Dr. Lima doesn't stop Killer Chris. Okay, it's an alternative timeline. Okay, it's a fucking loop. Okay, that does not help me at all. Gaunt Golden Requiem World Time. Okay, of course. We're just making shit up now. Gaunt, no matter what you two are, whether it's halfway across the world or an isekai away, you'll always be with ball. me. Third magic essentially makes the soul immortal and second magic allows the existence and travel between parallel okay. worlds. Oddly fitting. Fucking fate. Joseph Connor Manefto is born into this world. Okay. One of them was Monkey, and he had some of the shittest takes I'd ever known. <laughs> Fascinated of his dad's innumerable stories, drives JCM to seek out a way to bring back the boys. Okay, shit, the thing keeps moving. The clock tower goes public and has collaborated with the scientific community regarding various projects. JCM creates the perfect big titty dragon waifu using magecraft and robotics. What what does this mean to the story? Why is this here? Oh, it's 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 Hime. Okay, that okay. I was like, I was like, why would they just mention that? JCM wins a bunch of awards, lands a job at CERN. Dr. Ligma doesn't stop Killer Chris. Killer Chris steals JCM's research notes and sends him sends his past self a DNA mail. JCM is selected for time travel trials. Both the DNA mail and second magic will be used. God never really gets a proper send-off. To YouTube and Trash Taste way back when it disbanded 35 years ago. One last time, Garn turns on the camera. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Trash Taste. I'm your host for today, Garn, and Garn Manevto dies. Jesus Christ. Doctor escapes Akasha thanks to JCM's time traveling. Killer Chris murders Sydney before she meets Garn. Oh, Jesus. Garn stays at the BBC. Killer Chris films a documentary on Katakawa. He finds Maitley and convinces her to let him host the podcast. Killer Chris has convinced Joey and Connor to join him. Broad taste one. After a series of direction disagreements, Killer Chris murders Maitley and takes full control over the podcast. Decides to build his studio a, a year early so he can hide the bodies in the back room. ASO Natsuki becomes the unofficial fourth member of the Broad Taste. All right. Killer Chris gets Joey Natsuki to, to go to Mount ASO like normal, but the volcano erupts this timeline kills both of them. This pushes Killer Chris to a new level of insanity. The first anniversary of the podcast, Killer Chris has managed to maintain the podcast with random guests and Connor's help. Connor is starting to become concerned about Chris's mental state, however. <laughs> Uploads the Journey Across Japan series as if Joey and Natsuki hadn't died. This causes a huge controversy and divides uh, TT fans. Oh, it's not TT now. I thought it was BT. Despite the controversy, a shortened version of Too Much Volcano is number two on the iTunes indie charts. Khan demands that Casey stop profiting off of Joey's death. Killer Chris begrudgingly agrees. Uh, the podcast is less profitable after the controversy. Killer Chris takes over the Anime Man channel to try and make up for the losses. Connor tells Killer Chris he's quitting the podcast and becomes a VTuber. All right. Killer Chris is angry and tells Connor to meet him at the ramen set the next day after after rigging it to collapse in an earthquake. The earthquake doesn't happen. Wow. I, I banked on an earthquake to, to kill someone? Finds Maylene's body along with several others. Having discovered the truth, he quickly leaves Japan to escape Killer Chris and go and hide him. Killer Chris releases the podcast with new hosts. It begins to gain popularity. Connor begins to study Magecraft and Hamon. Of course I do. In case he needs to defend himself. Killer Chris, still searching for him, gets into Japanese politics. Killer Chris becomes Prime Minister of Japan and starts a global manhunt for Connor. Connor summons a bunch of alt versions of himself to stay hidden. Killer Chris abolishes the Japanese constitution and re-establishes Imperial Japan. Japan country are invaded to find Connor. What? Connor masters true magic on Hamon. He dubs himself Dr. Ligma. He learns of the alpha world lines and sets off to escape Killer Chris and become powerful enough to end this bullshit. Killer Chris has destabilized global peace, the world on the brink of nuclear war. Okay. World War Three ending. Okay. So, wow. So Dr. Ligma is born. Wait, what's this from? Oh, it's when we died. So when we died, we went to the afterlife. The boys enter the afterlife. A heaven, perhaps? Wait, no, they landed in Quindesim. What is that? Death Parade Special. Uh, oh, it's from fucking Death Parade. Chad Cass spinoff starring Death's Apprentice and the boys. All right. Dance World World Line is under the con continual protection of the Interdimensional Council of Gigak. Once the sought after perfect world line disputed over countless wars, a small faction of Gaunt who wanted to preserve the beauty of the world line created an organization that no one dares to provoke. It's just Rick and Morty now, I guess. The boys get isekai Gaunt's blessing on the wonderful world. Okay, so we're, we're in the trash taste. I died in an earthquake and I got reconnected in another world as an archdemon I admire. Okay. Gaunt is isekai having more, none of his meds. He slowly loses self and identity. The locals start calling him Ringo. Getting hit by a truck did hurt for sure, but I finally got isekai Jesus Christ. There's a bunch of random timelines. 
Only Gaunt survives Mount Fuji eruption, ends up in Avengers Endgame. Only Gaunt survives Hokkaido snowstorm. In the middle of the two, Gaunt becomes a professional cyclist after be after biking special. Oh, oh wait, it's the same meme? Oh, it's the same meme. Oh, he's shitting and okay. Only Joey survives the earthquake. Joey is now looking at himself. Okay, I, all right, okay. Okay, so after the trash taste ending, we tried alchemy and almost died. Good trash taste special. Dark Gaunt is about to kill Gaunt, I guess. Connor and Joey bring back Gaunt through human trends. <laughs> All right, full metal alchemist. <laughs> through human, human transmutation, it fails. Homunculus Gaunt never develops a consciousness. All right. Sigma Gaunt enters the empty homunculus shell. Sigma Gaunt and Galta have a standoff. Galta perishes instantaneously from Sigma Gaunt, mere radiating presence. <laughs> Good taste. Lasagna ending. Okay. Gaunt invades a peaceful attractor field. Oh, so this is when Gaunt comes in from the other timeline. So Gaunt comes in from this timeline when he escapes Akasha, thanks to thanks to the, the sun time traveling thing. All right. But then there's Sigma Gaunt. So Sigma Gaunt enters from in the middle of this timeline after me and Jerry die. Sigma male Gaunt world timeline. The Alpha Sigma male constantly on the grind. Unfortunately, Crust has been banned from the world. Sigma Gaunt has reached peak Sigma grind set, but he seeks out another world line out of spite, bringing the DNA DN male to send his consciousness into another attractor field, and then goes to this one and then beats Galter. Okay, that makes sense. Chris and Joey awake in the back. <laughs> Rooms. The pair wander the back rooms, narrowly avoiding death many times and traversing its various levels. Joey, still depressed and mentally ill, starts hallucinating. Trash taste on the wall. Chris is separated from Joey. Chris continues to wander the back rooms alone. Joey's fate. Joey goes mad in the back rooms, becoming Killer Chris. But I thought he became Killer Chris in a different timeline. Joey, although separated from Chris, manages to survive in the back rooms. His mind fading, Joey stumbles upon a mysterious level of the back rooms. A tropical island over an infinite void. The voices keep Joey. Joey jumps into the void. The void consumes Joey. The jelly is born. Wow. Chris finds an exit to the back. He to solve the mystery gauntlet. Gaunt rumentality? What the fuck does that even mean? And then we have the, the Council of Giga timeline. I, 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 this is just too much. <laughs> no! <laughs> This is psychotic! How? How? How can anyone watch this? How can you follow this? There's the dark dimension. What even is this? The Garn who eats crust is in the timeline. What the actual fuck? The Dr. Ligma timeline, which of course is a thing. This is just too much. This is too much law. I think we have had enough law! Stop! I can't keep up! Just fucking read it chronologically. <laughs> Just read, it. <laughs> Just read it chronologically. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Where do I start, huh? 